Hello, I'm Tyler Bryden. I'm sharing the insights from my journey building products, building company, and just trying to be a better person. If you are watching this, would love if you commented below. If you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. Today, I wanna to talk about something really interesting, which is this idea of uh, time to value. And time to value is uh, specifically looking through the lens of software, and it's an important principle in product marketing. And really, the idea here is that you want to shorten the time to value creation when someone signs up for your product. And this has lots of different implications for where it is, but generally, what are you looking to do? You're trying to decrease churn in, in people who are signing up for your product. That could be someone who pays right away. That could also be someone who does a free trial and they then uh, have four, seven, 14, 30 days to experience the product. Generally, I mean, unless you're not a business, you're trying to get someone in that free trial to experience that value uh, and then have that sort of moment and then sign up to become uh, a paid user of the platform. And there's lots of different ways um, that people look at this, but one of the ways it's been described is the aha moment. And so when you are a user, you sign up um, for the platform, uh, whatever that platform is, you have that moment where you say, oh, wow, this is valuable. You have that realization, the value is created, and then moving forward, there's less friction in someone reusing the product, continuously using product, or executing on the use cases or tasks that they have. And I'm gonna look specifically through the lens of my own company here at Speak AI just to give some more uh, concrete examples from my um, experience. And one of the things that I was looking at is sort of a cohort of the last 14 days of people who had um, signed up for a free trial. And in that time, we had about a 1.5% conversion rate to the paid, um, uh, paid, paid subscription plan debatable whether that's good or not it, there are lots of factors depending on um you know what how people signed up what they were looking for expectations met etc cetera, etc cetera. as always in business you want to make it better you want to improve those metrics and we're looking to um move that that needle up on that uh, conversion rate because that has huge impact on the growth of the business in terms of that what i what something that was interesting we noticed just from a, a small example is that the people in that that cohort um five there were five of the, anyone who signed up for an active plan had at least five sessions in the app. And a lot of the people who did not sign up only had one, one session, maybe two sessions. So what you see immediately is that the time to value creation um, was created and led to them coming back to the product, finding value, finding usage out of it, and then moving forward with the subscription. In our specific use cases, and we've seen this among many businesses and industry and, and, and companies and products, there are also specific actions that uh, are taken that are being taken that then indicate that there is that this time to value create um, has been sort of uh, fulfilled in some way. And with that, just as an example, um, you know, I'll hop in and we, we what we've tried to do is streamline this as much as possible. Is really this idea of quick options. So for us. Some of the ways that we've seen um, uh, value created very quickly is in this quick option, which is an upload, someone creating a new text note, um, or someone creating a recorder and then capturing recorders from other um, from other people online, or, or then even integrating with Zapier or Vimeo or uploading a CSV. If those functions are taken, then there is the opportunity to um, fulfill that time to value creation and uh, and then increase the likelihood that someone's gonna convert into um, a paid user. So um, what we're trying to then encourage as you sign up for Speak and then use it is that you take some of these actions uh, to, um, to, to actually find that value and then move forwards through that funnel to the paid plan. We've seen this with other things where it's like, um, you know, Dropbox, one of the measures that they had around was that someone would create a folder, add files to that folder, and then share. And if that was completed, the likelihood that the value was created, that they would turn into a paid user, um, increased significantly. And there are different types of value creation. One of them, uh, or sorry, value creation and time to value, one of them being this idea of like basic. And with basic uh, value, you know, with basic time to value, you're... Uh, uh, achieving a small function within the system that then creates utility for the product and then makes that user want to continue using that product. To continue with some examples from our perspective, um, what we see here is just a simple example is like someone can upload a file, they get an accurate transcript that is interactive that they can export back. So fantastic, basic value is created. 
Now, what you're trying to do on top of that is layer in exceeded value. So you want to exceed the value um, in that process. So great, we've got that just the transcript. What we then try to layer on top is sentiment. So you can automatically find sentiment throughout the files that you've uploaded. You can find insights and then jump from the oh, but they know, don't actually have keyword that's valuable to you to that specific moment. So you've hit the basic value with the transcript. Now you're trying to hit exceed value with these insights and sort of have these breakthrough moments, iterative moments of realizations of what's possible with the platform you're using. Ideally, you are uh, doing this as quickly as possible. And uh, if not, in the intention to span that we have, the economy have, the plethora of solutions often available in the market um, for many companies these days. Uh, if you're a tester and you don't find that value very, very quickly, you're gone, you're testing something else, uh, or you're building your own solution, et cetera, et cetera. So the goal is to make that as immediate as possible. Um, and then if you have um, a delay in that, there must be some understanding. So one of the examples that I've seen is, uh, you know, accounting software, where yes, there is some short time, short uh, time to value, uh, in some cases, but a lot of that is actually created at the end of the year when you're filing your taxes, and then all of a sudden, the system sort of, uh, 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 sort of culminates in a huge reduction in the amount of work, the value that is created. And so if you are to have long time to value creation, then you you need to have sort of uh, little loops within your product, within your marketing, within the messaging to make sure that people make it that far and then get that final value that you're hoping to achieve. And this is something that we've also worked on here at Speak because you need to have better, in, you need to have great value creation immediately. So here, this transcript, generally one of the quickest, one of the ways that specifically transcription and speech recognition companies are working on is how quickly can I get back to transcript? And then of course, how accurate is it? So that's a huge piece of it. The other challenge is if we are looking through the lens of what we're doing, we're also trying to, apologize if there's any swear words or anything in this, we're also trying to aggregate insights into a dashboard. And for you to then get the value from this dashboard, from your Explore Insights page, you then need to have many files and ideally you're adding many files over time. And as you add many files over time, you start to get the automatic extraction of insights, visualizations, themes and patterns start to emerge. And you can have, again, these breakthroughs and realizations on a macro level with the data that is within the system. And to make that happen, we need to have time to value right up front very quickly so that people continue, that, so they integrate, continue to upload, and then we have more value created as they go along that journey, culminating in say a week, month, quarter, or year period where insights start to become very interesting and very valuable. And I think really, uh, again, as a company, what are you trying to do? You're trying to build a business, you're trying to retain uh, customers, it's very expensive to um, acquire leads, traffic, uh, especially in today's with some of the advertising platforms failing to hit the same efficacy that they had in the past. And so you are, if you can get a customer, the goal is to retain them for as long as they are. And what that leads to is net revenue retention so that you can hold your customers and then continue to grow with other ones. And you're trying to, along with that, stop, churn. If no value is found in the product, then that is not going to happen. And so uh, with uh, with focus on this time to value, this, this metric, it's an important metric for SaaS companies to measure and then figure out ways to optimize. If you don't do that, you're gonna find yourself having this leaky funnel where great, you can get new customer, you can get new users, maybe free trial users, maybe you can get some customers in, but they're quickly following through that bucket. And then you are struggling to refill that bucket and most likely paying to refill that bucket. Uh, and and in, any, in many cases with products, you're paying more to acquire uh, those customers than what their lifetime value is. And that's not a situation that any of us wanna be in, especially in the world that we're uh, living in today, sort of the market conditions uh, that we're in today. So. In another video, I'm gonna maybe talk about, I will, I'm gonna talk about how can you improve time to value? What strategies are there? What can you do? Uh, there are opportunities during the onboarding experience and time to value in general is something that is uh, focused on and improved during the onboarding experience. There are ways that you can build your product. There are ways that you can build your marketing. And what I hope to do along with my own journey as we continue to increase these metrics is share our 
um, process to optimize and continue to decrease the time to value, exceed, uh, you know, hit that exceeded time, uh, time to value, which means people are having even bigger breakthroughs on the value that is being created and then differentiating that from other products. And then all these other types of sort of real strategic tactical ways that you can improve this metric, improve the business, improve the growth, improve the product, improve your relationship with customers and continue to build a sustainable, healthy, growing business that allows you to achieve the goals that you want. So this was a quick video on uh, time to value, uh, specifically looking at it in, through the lens of software and SaaS companies. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. If you uh, if you did, please comment below, like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Love to hear some feedback. Love to hear some uh, ideas for content as I continue to proceed. And thank you to anyone who's been checking out my journey. This is Metallic Ride. Thank you.